Hi, my name is Leon Rowe, currency trader and trading coach at trading180.com and welcome to this video on the Euro Yen technical setup, right? And um, I'm just going to be going over this trade setup from a technical perspective and also from a fundamental perspective and what you should really be uh, looking uh, out for when it comes to uh, trades as a technical analysis is just displaying what traders will see as value in the market right but from a technical perspective what we've got is what i would consider um an a1 typical a1 setup right so and when i say a1 i'm talking about just just one of the uh great technical setup so what you have is you know first of all we're at a um a demand zone so you can see we're trying to determine the supply and demand um uh one of the things that we need to do when we look at supply and demand is determine value and demand zones and supply zones are always areas of potential value right so we've got demand zone here in fact we pierced through the uh, top one we can delete that but we came down into the um the second demand zone right down here a bit Bit lower demand zone or what we could have done is just basically drawn it like this um, secondly uh, what we've got is we need to determine the supply and demand order equation right so supply and why they're going to be more supply orders than sell order um, sorry than demand orders and why they're going to be more demand orders or buy orders than supply orders right so um, I recently released a course which is probably about 50 minutes long, 55 minutes long, and I talk about supply, willing supply and willing demand and forced supply and forced demand in an area, right? And what we look at is horizontal support and resistance, diagonal support and resistance, and dynamic support and resistance, and why um, this would be, um, you know, uh, I suppose the motives behind why traders are forced to enter and why they are forced to exit and why they are willing to enter and why they are willing to exit and that all uh, culminates into the forced supply and demand area and at the end of the day we need to try and uh, I suppose um, guess or uh, what's the word I'm looking for um, I suppose it comes down to probabilities um, uh, get the probabilities on our side as to why we should have more demand in this area than supply and supply than demand and the prices as you can see are starting to react if we go down to a lower time frame we're starting to see um, prices react off of this area um, as we have horizontal diagonal and also dynamic dynamic in the sense that we have this moving average 200 I think that's the uh, SMA, it's either the EMA or the SMA moving average, all within this one area, right? So there's going to, there should be a lot of um, demand coming into this area from a technical perspective. But what you should be doing first and foremost is looking at um, fundamentals and sentiment. Now, from a sentiment perspective, um, we have. Um, Italy budget crisis so early angst grips the markets after populist refuse populists refuse to retreat a millimeter on budget amid um, clash with EU right so this is pretty much today's um, you know news and uh, um, what's going on in regards to Europe and uh, there is an article as well which I'll link in the description box below everything you need to know about Italy's budget crisis which threatens to trigger a major market meltdown right so bullet points are a fresh political crisis is brewing in Italy other plans for the coalition government's first budget the coalition late on Thursday agreed to set Italy's budget deficit at 2.4 percent of GDP and this is far above the 1.6 level that technocratic finance minister Giovanni Tria had lobbied for and puts Italy on a collision course with the EU and Italy risks falling foul of EU fiscal responsibility rules so there is some um, some risk going on into the market now Europe obviously um, in the midst of a bit of a 
potential crisis and one of the currency pairs that you really want to be looking at trading or buying potentially in the midst of a crisis and risk off sentiment is the Japanese yen which tends to benefit with uncertainty right so why am I telling you this is because we need to look beyond a price chart when looking at just technical analysis right yes this is a really good setup but um, beyond the price chart and what's going on you know the big money is not looking at whether this is a great setup technically or not right they're looking at potential value and the value of the euro could go down as a flat to equality potentially on the Japanese yen right which could push prices um, further down if a budget doesn't get agreed now if something does happen as far as there is an agreement at some point today tomorrow within the next week or two then we could see obviously the euro um you know uh bounce from here so this is a this is where we're going to be keeping our eye on in order to potentially take a trade or not now you've got you know two options pretty much you can either stay out or you can jump in now if you're going to jump into a trade and you see a technical setup on a lower time frame chart right um, it isn't one for me yet but if I do see a technical um, you know setup um, then I can just enter at a half position than I normally would or even just a quarter position you can kind of scale in and see um, where it will take you as you know like I said a news announcement, announcement come out at any moment and say and they could say, oh, well, you know, we've uh, agreed a budget deal and everything is, you know, good again within the euro. Um, and in that case, you will have the euro, you know, rally, etc. And um, this trade looks like, would look like, you know, on hindsight, a uh, brilliant trade to take. But when the point is, is that you should always be looking at um, what's going on in the market. Don't just blindly take trades just because you see um, something on a technical price chart if you want to have an extra edge on your side i mean if you do have an edge within the markets and it's tried and tested then you know be my guest but if you want to take your trading to the next level right it's always good to uh, look at the fundamentals and sentiment and there's a free fundamental and sentiment course available for you which i have produced and the link is in the description box below um and uh it should put you on the right side of the market more often than not and give you that extra edge beyond what everyone else is seeing on a price chart so um there's the setup there's the level um and uh it's just looking for potential entries to the upside um if you're looking to buy the euro but keep your eye on the uh, political situation and just minimize your size if you do want to enter at uh, at this level if not then we just look for levels below right if we're looking to be buyers of the euro um and if we're looking to be buyers of the yen um you can actually uh wait for maybe potentially a pullback before looking to get short so um hopefully that helps if you have any questions just uh, leave a uh, comment don't forget to comment even if you just want to say something nice um, about the analysis, uh, like, subscribe and share with your fellow traders. It helps. Uh, take care.